Hello everyone! If you want to make large protest signs but you don't want to spend a lot of time drawing with markers, say the sign has a lot of text or pictures or you need to make 30 of them, you can print a large image across multiple sheets of paper on your home printer and then tape them together. All you need is the free software that I'm going to show you how to use in this video. Uh, first we need to install an application called Post Eraser. So I'm just going to look it up in a search engine and I can find its website here on SourceForge. Uh, SourceForge hosts a lot of free and open source software. I'll just click on download, and I'm on Windows 10, so I'm going to download the Windows installer. And if you're on Mac, you can download this installer, or if you're on Linux, you can download this one. I'll just click here. This takes me to the SourceForge download page. Now I'm recording this in June of 2020, so this is version 1.5.2 of the software. If you're downloading a newer version, that's fine. This program doesn't really change that much in the way that you use it. So I've downloaded it, now I'm going to run that installer. And the installation is fairly straightforward. English, uh, click on next, uh, yes I accept, this is just the uh, open source license saying that it's free for you to share this program uh, with other people. Click Next. Uh, yeah, the default installation folder is fine. Click Next. And now it installs. And then we can click on Finish, leaving this checked, and that will run Post Eraser. Uh, now in order to use Post Eraser, we're going to have to create the image of our sign. So I'm going to open up MS Paint, and then use the uh, text tool to create some text. Black Lives Matter. Uh, the bigger image that you create, the better, because increasing the size of a smaller or a low resolution image in Post Eraser can cause this fuzziness to appear. Uh, you'll also want to use a thick font like Arial Black with bold enabled. Maybe increase this size. And all caps is a good idea for your sign. It gives it a clean, uniform look. Now one big benefit of printing your sign instead of drawing it by hand is that you can save a lot of time, especially if the text is really long. So I'm going to copy and paste uh, this quote by Desmond Tutu instead. And just increase the size here, maybe that. Oh, a little bit smaller. Now at this point, you can double check your work. Uh, you don't want to have any typos or spelling errors in your sign. Also, this can use a lot of printer ink, and that's kind of expensive. So what you could do is switch this to a lighter shade of gray, and then when you print it out, you can go over it with a Sharpie. That's going to make it take longer to create these signs, but it's going to be a lot cheaper since jumbo Sharpies are much cheaper than printer ink. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to leave this as black. Now if you have Photoshop, you can also create an outline of this. I'm just going to uh, right-click on the layer that has the text, and go to Blending Options up here, and then I'm going to add a stroke to this layer. Make sure that it's only one pixel in size, and that adds a black outline around your text. So I'm going to select all of this text, and then change the color to uh, white, and then I can just save this image and then fill it in later with Sharpie. Uh, you can also use images or photos, but keep in mind that that's going to use up a lot of ink. I generally think that it's better to have 10 signs for 10 people to carry rather than one fancy sign for one person, but do whatever you think is best for you. Uh, if you do use a photo, make sure that the contrast is pretty high. Uh, what I like to do is just go into a, a search engine, and then do an image search. And then you can, usually there's an option for using a clip art or line art as the kind of image that you want to search for. This will usually have images that have a white background. So I'm going to select this, copy image. And then I can add this image to my sign and resize it however I want. But let me go back to MS Paint. So now I'm going to save this 
as a PNG file, uh, desmond22.png. The PNG image format is good for text because PNGs don't lower the quality of the images. JPEGs will add a little bit of graininess to your picture as part of its compression algorithm. That's fine for photos because you generally won't notice the graininess in that kind of image. But for an image where we have a lot of white space and flat colors, uh, you really want to go with a PNG instead. So I'm going to click Save. And then let's open up Poster Razor. Again, this is version 1.5.2, but this software isn't really going to change all that much in how you use it. So let's open up the image. I'm going to click on the folder next to Input Image. All right, now we can just triple check, make sure that everything is spelled correctly here, and click Next. On step two, I generally leave everything the way it is right here. Maybe I'll switch between Portrait and Landscape depending on if the image is really tall or really wide, and then click Next. Uh, here we have the overlapping section. Uh, Post Eraser will automatically add some overlap to the pages that it prints out. I'm just going to leave all of this the same and click Next. And then we can determine the uh, final size of the poster here in Step 4. Say if I wanted to make this larger, I could make it four pages wider. Maybe set the image alignment to the... Uh, middle right here so I have the same amount of white space at the top and bottom. Or if I wanted to make this three pages higher, I could set it like this and then set the image alignment right here so that there's uh, an equal margin on the left and right side. Whatever you want to do. I'm just going to set this as uh, three pages wide and click Next. And then finally step five lets you save these pages as a single PDF file. Uh, click on the floppy disk button to save it. For those of you who aren't dinosaurs, a floppy disk looks like this thing right here. And then I'm going to save this as desmond22.pdf. And then Post Eraser will open that PDF file in your PDF program and you can print it out from here. Notice that it's spread out across all these pages right here, and you can easily share this PDF with other people. You can send it to them as an email attachment or post it online somewhere. Uh, when you print this, you'll need to cut off the white margins off two of the sides of each page before assembling them together. Uh, if you have a paper cutter, that makes it really easy and quick, but scissors will work too. And then you can just uh, tape these pages together and then tape that to a piece of cardboard to make it sturdy, and you'll have a large protest sign that looks way better than just using a Sharpie on a pizza box or something like that. Anyway, thanks for watching, Black Lives Matter, and stay safe out there.